What's up YouTube? Welcome back to Kangaroos TV. Liverpool have just beaten Midget Land 2-0 at Anfield. Um, I want to start off with the positives quickly because they ain't a lot. They ain't a lot of positives, bruv. So let's just get them out of the way quickly. Like for the last two Champions League campaigns, Liverpool have started off poorly and haven't done too well and struggled to get through all that kind of malarkey. We've got the six points in the bag. We've started off well. This sets up, up sets us up for the next few games, hopefully in good position. Um, other positives, Jota, my man's always getting on the score sheet. That's one thing I want to highlight to you specifically. Yeah, Jota is getting on the score sheet. He started off for me. He's starting off well at Liverpool. He's fitting in, and this is the, at the beginning of it. And if he's doing this now, once Klopp's finished with him, I'm happy that he's here. Other positives, bro. Trent. Attacking, attacking wise, he is the best right back possibly in the world. Attacking, this is what I'm saying, people. Attacking right back, he's possibly the best. Because some of the shit that he's doing today, that pass levels. Everyone knows that pass I'm talking about as well. Mad. Other positives. Finished. Listen, I think with the. the, the <clears throat> Two ways of looking at it, yeah. One is that we've played two games in the Champions League, we've got six points, um, and haven't conceded a goal in both games. So if you look at it from an outside perspective, looking at it, let's just say you're a, um, I don't know, for argument's sake, Bayern Munich fan, and you haven't watched the Champions League games, you, you're looking around and thinking, who's going to challenge us for this title, or are we going to, are we going to cruise? You're going to say, right, okay, who's the Champions League league? And you're going to say, right, what's Liverpool saying Champions League? You're going to say, right, boom. Away to Ajax, 1-0. Mad. Clean sheet, three points. Um, then you look at how they're going against Michelin. They're going to say, right, okay, boom, 2-0. Clean sheet. Again, mad. Yeah, Goal scorers. One with an own goal. Salah, Jota. Oh, wow. So Firmino and Salah and Mane ain't got going yet. Wow. Liverpool actually on job. Do you know what I mean? When you dress it up like that, can you, can you still go with it? 100%. If you, if you were to, if you were a neutral looking at, if you, if you saw Barcelona doing that, you think six points, expected. That's it. Then you're going to say, these men are actually on job. <laughs> Be yeah? careful of them. Be careful, because Liverpool are actually causing havoc. They're not. <laughs> They're not. And I, I, listen, I, I know it's, 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 it's easy for us to sit here in this capacity and say that, because I'm sure there's players that are carrying injuries, carrying knocks, because that is the... The, the the you know that comes with the territory yeah and like you say Jota mate I, I'm I'm I, I eat my words already I think because you can say what you want about the performances and seeing certain things but he's actually scoring and winning games Sheffield United that game yeah we're gonna cover that off in this as well but the performance was flat flat and then won you know what I'm saying and won and he scored the winner boom today we were flat flat a uh, flat uh, that's actually probably a compliment to what we actually were today, and we've won. So I don't know whether to sit there and be like, "Listen, what is this?" Or to be like, "Listen, they're playing a game every three days, and you know these lot ain't no joke, really. They're the champions of their league, so obviously they're going to be half decent. Do you know what I mean? They know how to win. But this level of performance, I'm not okay with it. And it's and it's easy to say, "Oh yeah, well, there's so many things to to take into consideration and all that sort of stuff." Well, if you knew that you had a game every three days, you should have men through the door. You should have people ready through the door. Listen. Everyone who watches our channel knows that we're realists, okay? We're not going to jump on this whole... If there's going to be Liverpool fans out there, they're going to say, listen, we got the six points, uh, back the boys, rare, rare, rare. I'm sorry. Just like you said there, you know you got these fixtures coming up. Now, the same players aren't being used. If, that, if we were using the same players and they were pushing at the same performances, fair enough. You would say some of these players are tired. He's put on fresh legs, as far as I'm concerned, at the top. We... Can did, stop you? Can go, on, go on, stop you? go on. Could someone tell me, please, yeah, please, what today, just anything, yeah, that Divock Origi did today in this game? Because you say he brought on fresh people at the, at the at, at top. He's fresh. He's fresh. You can't be fresher than that. You cannot. Yeah. Can someone please tell me? And am I missing something? Am I being harsh? Or the expiry date is gone. You know when you look and you something open the fridge and you think, oh yes, milk, boom, ah, that's what it is. Do you know what I mean? You look at it, and think, oh yes, that will do the job. That's what I'm looking for to make my cup of tea. <laughs> Look what he's compared it to as well. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? You open the fridge, you go, boom, yes, milk, yes. I needed that, yeah? Little striker, you look along the bench, yes, I needed a striker, yeah? Then you, look at, you pick up the milk and you think, oh, man, date's off. I have to dash it, yeah? <laughs> he has gone off milk. That's what Devakri is. He has gone off milk. 
dash them in the bin and get the next carton, bro. Listen, yeah, the analogy actually works here. Yeah, but what I'm saying here, yeah, Divock's time is done. Listen, people are out here calling him the goat in there. Listen, it's, it's finished. It's, finished. It's, done. It's, done. it's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. Ariki, it's done. Just listen. Just, just, just go on. <laughs> <laughs> just do your thing somewhere else, fam. Like, we'll remember you for what you've done. Yes, just come on now. It's like, when he came on, like, it got to a stage. It stinks. <laughs> it stinks. I'll That's why it's milk, bro. It's kind of milk. It stinks. <laughs> bro, I was actually looking at you, laughing like this. Just like this. Just like, what? Because it just got to a stage where everything he was touching, like, some, I remember there was actually one, I had to rewind it. Literally, I had to rewind it. He tried to take the ball off <laughs> from the air, and it was gone over there. It's finished. Please. <laughs> like, I, just can't, I can't watch it anymore. Like, I'm hoping people feel the same way. We're not We're not trying to be dickheads for just for the sake because of saying Because I, I was saying... We're not saying... A couple years ago. Yeah, a couple of years ago. Couple of years, he's talking years. <laughs> he's talking years ago. And I said, I said, listen, oh. he needs to move on because he's not even getting the opportunities because they put his storage on. Then he got his opportunities and then he done something. Yeah? Boom. Your stock's high. Your stock is high. Yeah? Go and get in a banana shirt and go and play somewhere. And even he knew, he thought, you know what? Nah. <laughs> nah. Because <laughs> I ain't that guy. <laughs> like, if I thought I was that guy, I'm not that guy. Yeah? That's it. Now, thank you. Shake hands and say, you know what? It's, a bit, it's, been, a, it's been a great journey. Yeah? If you're a Brewster, if you're a Brewster, you're going to be sitting there at home. Somebody's going to learn this. <laughs> learn this. <laughs> That's what you're going to be doing. You're going to be thinking to yourself, come on. Why? I'm sorry, yeah, and I, I don't want to be disrespectful because obviously he's done what, what he's done for the for Liverpool and stuff. But that's it now, I'm afraid, because today was hard to watch. That's too hard to watch. I'm sorry, and, and Minamino as well. I, listen, I'm Team Minamino, yeah. Ah, oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, bro, carry on, bro, carry on. Listen, I hate. I, I don't want to. I, hate, I don't want to beat up on a player. And I, and I did say the positive, and and I still believe in those positives that he does find the positions and find the strength. <laughs> but 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 it's just the rest of it that goes with it. It's like uh, someone messaged me today. Uh, one of the guys that watches it, he messaged me today, and he said it's like a boy playing in a man's game. You know when you watch when you you see the the best player on a Sunday league, and he's been playing with the under sixteens or seventeens and that, and all of a sudden you say, you know what, he's he's ready. Let's play him Saturday afternoon in events, and he plays, and he just gets mashed about, and that you just you go boom, yeah yeah, come on. Couple of years, he'll be he'll be there. He'll be a talent in a couple of years. That's what it looks like at the moment, and it's not right because he wasn't. I, I, you know, even uh, we said it. I remember specifically saying, even for seven million, even if he is dead, yeah, for seven million, it's a it's a great price to buy someone of that caliber. But I'm just saying, like, I don't know what I can't see what comes next because something has to drastically change. We need to hit the weights or something. What I would say here, right, is people dug me out saying that listen he doesn't get the time that he needs he doesn't start games he comes on with wanting to be an impact player and he doesn't have a lot of time to do something okay I took that on board now he started I sat back and said okay now this is midget land and he's gonna get the whole start of the game let's see what I've gone what he did he did absolutely nothing when he's, they both came off, enough. when they both came off, they the, knew. the body language, they knew. They knew. They knew. What time it was. Even Irigu was at. <laughs> sorry, bro. <laughs> that's what sorry. That's what it looked like. It looked a clop in it. I had my boots with me. It was. I had moulds. It's a studs pitch. So it, it's just. It's, just, it's hard to watch that. Look, we, I, to watch. I, I've said already, right? As a, as a sub, and everyone knows from when you play from the very first years of football. To get into a brand new team, get into another new squad, you got every minute that you get, you take it and you can show what you can do to actually push on for the first eleven. Now he actually had, like, Jot, as I'm saying, Jota's getting on the score sheet. He's making Klopp think, I've got to use this, you've got to use this guy because he gets goals. And now, you know, Takumi came on and he's just, like I've said before, don't get me wrong, he gets into, he gets into those positions that like you said, he gets into those pockets and he's very busy, he's like a busy bee, bro. But, what does he actually do? And that's the problem. Like, I'm hoping he somehow finds his feet. Like, if some miraculous thing happens. But right about now, that's all I'm trying to say. Like, when we dig these people out, we're not saying that we want these people to fail. We want him to be a success. When we first bought him, I was excited. And then now, this is what I'm saying. I'm, all I was saying last week was I'm beginning to get worried. And now all that's done is added to that. That's all that's happened. And he's just not impacting the game enough for me 
to grant a position in the team right now. Yeah, it is. Like I said, it is at the moment slightly tough to watch because it's, you want him to do well and he isn't. Fresh legs, bro. But the, the, but the other thing is, like, I think Fabinho today, losing Fabinho, oh. Why are we, why are we starting with him? Nah, bro? I, I, I said, I said, Prashi said to me as well, he messaged me the same thing, but I guess from, from the manager perspective, he's probably thinking, listen, these are have to get have to gel. They're going to have to get to know how to play with each other and they need to play every game because Fabinho and Gomez need to know how things are done in, so play, they have to play together. I, I, and I, I kind of, I get that. I get that. Yeah. But for me, the rest of them, like for the, you, Milner and Henderson today, I think, I felt sorry for them today because I think that they were looking around thinking like, Someone do something, make it stick, do something. Shakiri, people got a lot of people would like to like to, to bash Shakiri, but when he got on the ball, he's the only one for me that had bits of quality. Not enough, not enough. Yeah, but when amazing. he got when he got on the ball, there were bits of quality there for me. That's just my personal opinion. He's got ability, and even he sometimes I think he looks around and thinks, I should be in that starting eleven, not with this these men who are trying to learn their ropes and that. Because he proved it today. But that little that reverse pass, that's not a joke, bro. That reverse pass is not a joke. That was the only bit of quality in the whole game. That goal was the only bit of quality. Their goalkeeper's conceded two goals today and not had to make a save. No, but what I'm trying to say is this, right? Like, I understand what he's trying to say about the gel and stuff, right? But we can't take any risks right now with the centre-back. Now, are you telling me that um, the, the new kid, what's his name? Luis Williams. Luis Williams, right? You're, you're telling me that he couldn't... He showed that he could quite easily handle no, it. No, I'm sorry. What? I'm, I'm sorry, I'm actually happy there. But if he didn't do anything wrong. No, he didn't do anything wrong. But that sort of game there, if he started that game, they would, yeah. have, they would have said from ball one, they're going to say, you know what? Play on him. Play on him. They, but it, it changes the game plan. So I, I'm not, I, I don't agree with that. So you wouldn't say start him, man? No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't start him at all, no. No, not at all. And, and I, like I said, at the moment, your hands are tied to a certain extent because Matip's injured. Um, and we didn't really replace Lovren, which everyone thought they were going to do. They, were, they thought we were going to go and get another centre-back to replace Lovren, which we didn't. Now, Lovren was a calamity, don't get me wrong, but... He he was a body that was there that you could check him in. That today's game, he would have been perfect for that because he he's not stupid and he's not a mug. He knows how to deal with these you know games. It's only when he comes up against top opponents when the man gets his pants pulled down. But yeah, it's looking a bit it's looking a bit booky with the defender situation because you, you you're starting you're now starting to look at people like Henderson. Can he go in there? Can he play in there? Is Matip gonna be fit? Can we get to the fucking transfer window? Can we just get there and see what happens? Because whether or not Klopp talking about oh it's not as easy as going up buying someone, you have to go and buy somebody now. You actually have to. The thing is, um, Alisson actually made a, a big boy save. Huge save at the beginning. Huge save. Like they, should, they could have scored two easily. So, you know, first of all, put some respect on that team. First of all, right? Just because their, their name's wacky, they're the first time uh, that we've played them all that. They actually were on job. Like, those players did not, didn't phase them that they were at they Anfield. Pressed, they pressed yeah. for the whole game. About 80 minutes. I mean, yeah. Liverpool probably had a 10-minute spell when they probably looked like they were getting their breathers. They, they pressed Liverpool for a long time in that game. And they deserve something out of that game. And, and we, we're the first to say it. Even Ajax. Ajax deserves something out of that game. If anyone did, believes otherwise, I think you're, you're killing yourself. Today, these lot, very much, they, they deserve If they got a draw out of that game, you can't sit there and be like, nah, fucking hell, they've, they've, they've burgled that. They haven't. So they, 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 Liverpool didn't get the ball for 20 minutes. It's like, man, it's like one of the, it was literally one of the worst games I've seen for a long time. Just because, of like you said, you say, you're at Anfield and you haven't actually worked the keeper. Of the opposition, it's mad. It's literally mad. Um, I, I mean, when the subs did happen, I mean, Genie was the one influential player for me, right? He changed the game straight away. Well, not changed the game, but he made an impact. He straight away, yeah. intercepting the ball and winning the ball, the winning the ball high up and getting the players running. And it's some and people always say, to, you always ask, something, what does Genie do? They always have a go at Genie, but you can tell the difference. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? The other thing, I, the other thing, the point to pick up on was was Firmino. Didn't help himself, you know when he. It does he, not help himself. You know that 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 cut back today. And we people know we defend to the hills. We defend to the hills. They could have scored at that goal at the end. He he missed that sitter, and it was a sitter because there's no one around him. He ain't bobbled. Trent put on a plate for him. Yeah, and he's he's not even hit the target. Not worth the keeper. He's then tried to do some mad booky shit in the corner, lost the ball, and then they've gone in and, and they should have scored. So I don't know. It, it's again, there's the two positions that we talked about even before when we did the live video. We talked about the two positions that we probably need cover. I mean, centre forward and centre back. And I'm sorry, but it looks like we were right. What about Jota now, though? Like, Jota's obviously proving that he's getting on the score, she's getting goals. Would you just put him into Bobby's position? That's not his position, though. No, I mean, he's naturally yeah. left. Yeah. And uh, we ain't taking money. If, so. if, if anything, you'd probably go Salah through the middle, yeah. um, maybe Mane on the right and Jota on the left or something like that. But then, yeah, yeah. But, but again, we're not, not necessarily losing games. So it's, it is, it's, a, it's, a, it's a tough one. Everyone's going for the same battle. 
you know, United will, will go through this with the rotation of their squads. Arsenal playing on a Thursday and then games on a Saturday and Sunday. Spurs will be the same. You can, you can tell by the results in the league right now. I think someone said it on Talk Sport, and I thought it was the best analogy. Football's drunk at the moment. <laughs> the football, football is drunk. The mad things are happening. People are playing with confidence. Teams are playing with confidence because they're like, fuck it, I'll try seven step overs. And if I, even if I lose it, ain't no fans booing me. So I'll just do it again. And then, like, you know, these teams are having to go with them because it's like, well, we have nothing to lose. There's no fans on our back, nothing to lose. The ground you're playing at doesn't necessarily have that scare factor anymore. So every game is literally you could lose. Um, so, yeah, and then obviously Sheffield United. Again, it's another poor performance for me. Flat performance. And fuck VAR as well. I'm done with it. I'm done with it. Like we, we, as we're on the topic of VAR, right? That was never a penalty. Now, everyone knows that. Everyone's discussed it. There's no point us going into great detail of the bite. It wasn't a penalty. It was outside the box. The player wasn't even in the box. Hadn't even entered the box. And man's given a penalty. All right? I don't know what vendetta man's have got against Liverpool. And they want to... I slightly disagree with that in the sense that I think by the letter of the law, his foot was on the line. Yeah. So by the letter of the law, if his foot, any part of his foot is on the line, then it, it becomes a penalty. Right. So from that perspective, okay. But it's not a foul. It's not a foul. It's not a foul. Because if that's a foul, then then you're not... Well, then why are we playing football for? What, then what is the point of playing football? It's not a foul. He did the exact same time a tackle against Ajax. Everyone's like, oh, what a tackle. It's not a foul. So, and, and, then, and then you look at it the other way, and then you think, Lucas Dino in the weekend... He got red carded, and now they've changed that decision. They've looked at it after the game and changed the decision. So what the fuck were they doing for when for Pickford? Oh yeah, sorry, I made a mistake. I made a mistake. The guys, oh, yeah, I didn't know, I didn't know. Well, then rectify the mistake after the game, now. That's all we were asking for. That's all. You know, people going on about. Now, don't get me wrong. We we both discussed this about how people are going on about this verge thing. Like the man's not dead. Do you know what I mean? He's got an injury. A lot of people have gone through injuries. You know, it's a, a bad, a big, it's a really injury. bad one. Yeah, really bad injury. We get all that, but let's look forward. Let's wish him luck, help him all the support that he needs, move on, yeah? But like you said, if we're doing things after the game and rectifying decisions, that needs to be rectified. Like how did you, how has he got away with that? I do not know. But then, but then to turn around and say to Dinia, he's, he's been red-carded, which is a horrible challenge. A horrible challenge. And he's had two bites at him, by the way. He's clipped his ankle first, and then he's trod on his ankle. And then they've said, okay, red card, oh, we've to one, we'll give it to change it to one game, because we maybe think it was wrong. Okay, we looked at it afterwards. So what the fuck were you doing? What were you doing last week? <laughs> I don't get it. What is what? What's the point? And I, I said to you before, and I said this to anyone else that we talk about it with VAR. It was coming to eradicate howlers and shockers and mistakes like that. It's ruining football, right? That game that we all love and we've grown up watching, and you can't wait for the games on a weekend and, and so on and so forth. It's ruining football. They score a goal now, and everyone's like, ah, "Can we celebrate?" Or what? Because I don't know. Because my ball bag might have been offside. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I got big nuts in that. I, might, I think I just must have swung forward in that. I might be offside. I think it, I think it was. I think it was a Sheffield United game. Literally, the, we'd scored the goal. I didn't celebrate. Um, until I knew it was a goal, I just sat there. I was like, you know what? I, I ain't celebrating until it's gone. Uh, I, was waiting, I, I waited, I waited, I waited. And I went, oh, goal, yeah. Yes. And, then, and then the moment's gone. You just go. Yeah. Yeah, so <laughs> you just look one of those ones. Cool, yeah. <laughs> and it's it's mad. And like I said, maybe yeah, if 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 it's because you want to get people to talk, talk about or whatever, we'll just leave it to the referee then, because people still talk about decisions regardless. At the moment, we're talking about it over over like I said, nut sacks. People's fucking ball bags are offside, and you, you're going to call it. Off. Do you know what I mean? So if you're going to have a topic of conversation at the pub, then just leave it. Leave it to the ref, or give them two review. You got two reviews per game. Use them at the. You, you pick and choose when you want to use them. You got two per game. If it's right, you keep your review. If it's wrong, it's gone. Yeah. yeah? Because then it's up to you. If, if let's just put let's put it like this: that Liverpool goal against Everton, yeah, they would have used their two reviews at, by that point anyway. Chances are they would have used them at two different points. Then you don't. Then it's up to you. If they're going to review. They would have reviewed it anyway. They would, they would just be like, oh, yeah, to be fair, he, he, he scored, bruv. Like, it's, he, he, I can't, is it offside? I don't think so. Yeah, boom, go on, carry on. Unless they had one left and it's the last minute, then you would. But I just think, like, you know, it's just getting to a stage now where something does need to be done because if you review everything, every single thing, then you're, you're going to get dumb decisions. The, uh, the goal against, um, just going, thinking out loud, the, the handball for Eric Dyer, the opposition team would not have reviewed that. Because they would have been like, well, it's not a handball. Yeah, and if they do, it would have been, it would have been, oh, well, just his chance, I like his chance. Let's fucking see what happens, isn't it? That's one of those ones. But if, if you know you've got a rush in your reviews, then you're going to say, nah, man, that's not, well, you don't want to lose that, and we've got fucking 45 minutes to play, we might need that. They're not going to start, they're not going to review everything. So for me, I'm, I'm just saying, something's got, something's got to give, man, because if you're going to give Digne his punishment changes after the game, but yet you're telling me that Pickford's challenge is not going to get looked at again. Ah, as, I, as I said, look, I don't know what people have got against Liverpool if they want to keep trying to uh, 
help Liverpool lose games and whatnot it is, but it ain't working. Like we're still coming in there and still somehow got that win against Sheffield United, even though they put it against us. We started really well that game. The VAR fucked us on that. But let, away from VAR, the performance itself, Sheffield United obviously once again hustled and bustled really well for a team at the bottom of the league. But midfield for me is non existent. It's just not help it's not dictating games. It's not breaking through lines. Uh, and we're suffering at the moment in the middle. And even today, we're suffering. Until Genie came on, and I, I'll bring this topic up again, like, you know how us, we feel about Curtis Jones at the moment, right? Why wasn't he playing this game? You may disagree that he, should, he maybe should not, he shouldn't be playing. He starts against Ajax, and he doesn't start against Michelin. I, I'm, I'm baffled with that. Someone, please explain to me. People, people said to me, oh yeah, Klopp's going to give him time. This was a perfect opportunity to give him time. So, I, I don't know. Like, and Personally, I, I would much rather Shaqiri as that. Curtis Jones. Yeah, but people. That's what, but that's what I'm saying. People know how we personally feel about Curtis Jones. I know a lot of people feel completely different to him. But someone talked to me, explained to me. You said that you know Klopp's gonna give him time. Klopp's using him. Klopp's only using him because he has to. You know when he has to, has to against Ajax, we we had to use him. So I don't know, man. Like we say, Gruich is out now on or, 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 alone on Porto. He's just learning more. Right for me personally, I don't know. I, I, I just, I'm just gonna put it out there. If anyone wants to put anything on that topic, let me know. Cause and, and Liverpool fans, people that watch this. Talk to me, Origi. Talk to me, you know, Minamino. I want to hear something. Give me, some, give me something, because at the moment I'm flat. I, I'm, I'm, I'm finding it hard. Watching that game, I'm finding it hard. I used to love watching Liverpool games. At the moment, I'm like, ah, we win it. And don't get me wrong. Listen, don't get twisted. I'm happy that we win. I am happy. We're getting we win. over the line. We're getting yeah. over the line. But it, it's not. It's not going to be sustainable because I, you put that. You put that performance up against Bayern Munich. Ooh. It was slap. It was slap you. Man. It was slap you. Hundred percent. So. All right, that's the end of the video. Um, let us know your take on everything that we mentioned. It's obviously, there's negativity there. The positives are... It's real as shit. It's not negativity. Yeah, it's, it's just realist. I mean, realistic opinions. They've beaten them. They've won. They've kept a clean sheet. They've, they're six points out of six possible points. Um, uh, Ajax drew with Atlanta, so we are top of the group with a bit of breathing space. Um, we've got Atlanta to play. We've beaten Sheffield United after, after going one down, which is brilliant. So... From those perspectives, yes, I'm good, very good, and we keep building and we keep building. But let's let's not let's not pave over cracks here. Yeah, Thiago needs to get back ASAP and needs to get back dictating games. Hopefully, Fabinho's injury is not so bad, and then let's get to January. And we need to get to January. And what do we need? Tell me, people. I want to hear what you got to say. Uh, anyone who's still watching up until this uh, video up to the end now, and big up yourself for to, to following us and watching us, and hit that subscribe button if you're still watching. And um, we really appreciate the support. Um, until next time, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Peace.